Hey, what's up? Wait, hey, what's up, guys? This is MDG TV. Um, Infinity Ghost is in the background doing something with a virtual novel or something. Visual yeah. novel. Okay. I was gonna, like, explain the situation, but never mind, never mind, never mind. Go do your video. Call me back whenever you can. You can explain the situation right now. It's not. Uh, nah. Okay. Make your damn video. Make your damn video. <laughs> Fuck up. Anyway, guys, so what this video is, is. How much of a cuck am I? <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna get to the questions. So, in the term, in, in the course of your travels on the internet, you may have come across a particular term, cuck. What is a cuck? In the strictest sense of the word, it is someone who enjoys watching their partner sleep with other people, but in broader sense, it takes on a deeper, mean deeper meaning. A cuck is somebody without scruples, without pride, someone who lets their emotions determine their ideology and whose chief argument for his positions is it's the current year. Are you a cuck? Take, oh, okay. Yeah. Take our handy quiz and find out. Well then, let's do this quiz. I mean, technically a gender, but yeah. How would you describe my views on social issues? Eh. Not about extremely liberal, but yeah, pretty liberal. Yeah, I'm. I'm would I be hard left? Actually, yeah. <laughs> extremely liberal. Um, do you believe the government has a duty to pro to provide basic needs for its citizens, such as? Well, I mean, yeah. Totally. Well, wait, but it... No. Because, well, I mean, then that dips into communism, though. Not to say that communism is such a horrible thing. But I don't I don't agree with the temporary part. I'd say this if the temporary part wasn't there. Oh, no, no. The, okay, yeah. The, while the person needs it. So it's... Yeah. All right, so a retail company pays its employees an average of 40k a year. Meanwhile, the CEO takes home several million a year. What should be done about this? 40k is livable. It's totally livable. It's not the best life in the world, but 40k is middle class, I believe. Um, CEO's wealth should be seized and re redistributed to the workers. I don't know about all that. Let's see. If the workers are unhappy with the wages, they should petition the CEO to raise their pay. Otherwise, nothing should be done. It's natural. It's natural that a CEO would earn more than a cashier, but his income should be capped and should be taxed up. Okay, I'm kind of in between these two. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's what I would say. Like, you know, if anyone's complaining, then fix the complaints. But other than that, you know, I mean, if, if everyone's cool with it, then fine. Let's see. What is your opinion on gun ownership? Fuck guns. Seriously. <laughs> That's my opinion. I, I don't see that on here, but I'm about to change one of these answers within Spec Element. Fuck guns. <laughs> so, yeah. No buts, no exit. Seriously? It's a stupid joke. Should be allowed guns for hunting. Guns should really only be handled by trained professionals, such as the military and law enforcement. There isn't a gun shouldn't exist at all option, but I'm going to take that one, since it seems the most close to guns shouldn't exist at all. Do you think college, camp college campuses should be dev have designated safe spaces where certain words, discussions, ideas, media, and types of people are prohibited? Why does that sound slightly, um, well, I mean, one, it is exclusive, but discriminatory at the same time? Because, I mean, that that is taking away from the First Amendment. I mean, you do have the right to be an asshole if you want to. I mean, it's not a good thing, but, I mean, and then it's like college... I could see how, like, in schools, I could see, like, how in public schools it would be good to have a play thing like this, and some of them do, but, um, I don't know about in colleges. Like, sit, sit, because, and then you would have to think, like, there's going to be people who'd want to spend all their time there instead of going to class, and then, <sighs> yeah, I, I would say the university shouldn't get involved. How many genders are there? By definition, there are two genders, okay? By definition of the word, it's male or female. It's just that it has to do with social and cultural differences rather than biological ones. By the definition of the damn word, there are not more than two genders. Everything else is a modification of the word, but it's not a gender. I'm sorry if I crushed your Tumblr-addicted dreams. It's just how it is. However, I do think it is a social construct because... 
it's based more off cultural and social differences than actual, you know, sexual differences. That's why there's a difference between sex and gender. So yes, it is just a social construct. But then again, you can't say none. That's one, a little bit nihilist, and two, God, I'm kind of stuck between the two. Because technically the answer isn't none. Th that, that's not even an opinion question, you know. But whatever. Should hate speech be considered a crime? Depends. Because it depends on the um, how, how far it goes. Because if it's just someone being a dick, then no. That's just how life is. You can't change the laws so that unfairness isn't a thing anymore. People are going to be dicks regardless. It's not going to change anything. But should, should it be considered a crime? To the point where it gets to bullying, yes. But anything beyond, anything before that, no. Like, if people are just sitting around talking shit on other people discriminatorily, even if they shouldn't be doing it because, you know, hating on people is wrong, you know, you, again, you can't just change a law to make someone not be a dick. So, to the point where it isn't bullying, no. But, I mean, that just, it, it's, it's too, these questions are too vague, you know? My answers are too specific. That's why I'm explaining them before I give the answer. So I'm going to say no. If you've taken a political compass test, where do you generally align to? How the fuck? I don't even know. I'm going to go do this on my own time, so I'm not wasting yours. Okay, I have to unpause the video, because this is a point that I've made. Like, just, not really made to anyone. I mean, I might have talked about it amongst friends. But this is just something I was thinking about. No one, like, okay, so you know how people's like, I'm proud to be an American, right? And I can understand that to a point. But at the, like this, all right. So like, it, this is what the statement says: No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. I wouldn't necessarily say foolish, but I would say it's questionable, because I, if you're gonna be, pr I'm like, when I think of something to be proud of, I'm thinking something that you did that you would be proud of, like painting a picture or writing a song or something like that. That's something that you would be proud of because you did it, and it's you when you're proud of it. But if it's something that just happened and there, you had no control of it, the fuck? <laughs> like, I'm not proud of the fact that I'm this sexy. I was just born this way, you know? I mean, this amount of... I, I don't know. I was just born this sexy. I didn't ask to be this sexy. I just am. <laughs> I'm completely joking. I'm... Okay, I'm just gonna move on and finish these questions. I just wanted to say that little thing. All right. Okay. One, just saying, you know this is true when I say it? There's way too many goddamn big words in this. I, I get it that this might be it's like a test meant for people who would know what these words mean. Luckily, I just happen to. But seriously. There's, there's... People would take these tests and not know what the words mean. So when you say a genuine free market... Ugh. When you say a genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator m multinationals to create monopolies, why? You c there's completely simpler ways to have said that. Just saying. Okay, guys. This is where I stand on that damn test. The political compass test. Lower left. Is that lower? Yeah. Lower left. It's actually, if you know me, that's not surprising at all. So, yeah. Do you believe in do you believe a race or culture has a duty to repay other races or cultures if they have wronged in the past? No. Well No, because that should be done on an individual level. It doesn't matter. Why should ev that's why I don't like that military shit where it's like one person messes up, everybody pays for it. I think that's stupid. Isn't it you see country should I'm, ah crap. Oh we got it. Okay, so if if this isn't going in, if this ends up going into two videos, this better be like the end. There better not be multiple pages. Okay, all right, so we're we're good. Never mind. All right, with my views on immigration, borders are arbitrary. People should be free to go wherever they want. Immigration is a positive thing; should be encouraged, of course. Border security is important too, but a balance must be struck. Yeah, pretty much. But only three degree to be our laws and customs. No. As big of a melting pot of cultures as the U.S. is, who would possibly believe that? As I say this, I'm pretty sure there's a few dumbasses out there who... Okay, that was kind of mean, but still. It doesn't change the fact that... It's still what I think. 
Okay, so what do you what did you major or currently majoring in college? None of these because I'm not in college, but if I were STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Can I choose multiple? No, well, that's what I would go for anyway. That and actually, you know what? That's the only one except for technically medicine, but yeah, that that's what I would go for. Anyway, um, what is one thing you would like to improve about your country? Everything. Um, quality and social justice, I would say. Sorry. Is white privilege a real thing? Yeah. But, but it's not as big a deal as some people make it out to be. True. Because some people blame every single fucking thing about it. Sam was born a male. One day, Sam announces that from now on, he identifies as a woman and would prefer to be called Samantha and referred to with her, she, her pronouns. What is Samantha's gender? Trans female. Should someone lose their job because of an offensive Facebook post, tweet, text message, etc.? No. And it doesn't depend on who it offends. The fuck kind of selective shit is that? Sorry, sometimes I get a little bit angry. Um, in general, what is my opinion, opinion on feminism? I don't like third wave feminism, just putting that out there, but feminism, by definition, is completely positive. But if you go by feminism as today, it's like mostly night, like this whole third wave men or pigs thing, completely one sexist, which is like the opposite of feminism. So, ugh, I don't even want to get into it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go mostly entirely positive going off the definition of the word feminism. What sets, wait, what set of hobbies sound most appealing to you? Reading, writing, drawing, hunting, fishing, camping? Nope. TV shows, movies, video games? Yep. Sport, I don't like sports. Craft, building projects, and repair, restoration work? Nah. I'd say a mixture between, like, because I like writing, but TV shows, movies, and video games. I mean, just yesterday I watched, I did all three, watching Glee playing whatever game I was playing yesterday, and, yeah, and watching Lame Is, which technically is a movie. Is morality objective or relative? Objective. Mm, wait. Yeah, object yeah, morality is objective, for the most part. What describes my religious views? Is I was about to say, yeah, Gnostic Atheist. Um, modern art versus traditional art, who wins? Neither. Art is subjective. The fuck? Um, what is your opinion on open, of open relationships? What, what, is, what even is this? Oh, you mean like, uh, well, if both people are cool, then, yeah. I don't see what the fuck's wrong with them. Alright, yeah, this is gonna spill out into another video, so what I'm gonna do is... I don't know yet. I don't know. I might have to cut out some of the parts of the political compass test, but I'm going to try to... Alright, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause when I'm reading the question, and then give my answer at the end. Okay, so basically it's like a bunch of people coming up in your country, and they like immigrants, right? And then, like, so ba like basically they have a hard time meshing into your culture there, and some of them violently attack the culture th that's in your... Yeah. So I, I just said, look, if you're being violent, you know... Sh yeah, you you go into jail, but you know don't generalize everybody and say you know what, if you look like this, talk like this, are this, you're this. That's messed up. Uh, what is my ideal form of government? <laughs> I was gonna say anarchy before I even thought it was a choice, but hell no. Um, I'd say whatever we have is pretty nice. It's like what democ representative. Dem oh my god, I cannot remember. Not fascism. God no. Tribal, regional government, collected some communism. I guess for a public. You know, because, I mean, what we got isn't that bad. It's just the leadership that makes it that bad. Will of the state... Okay, so I'm going to... Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, Just in the interest of time, if I don't have, like, a huge argument to some of these questions, I'm not going to be answering them on camera. So, yeah. Okay, here's one. Should children be taught L about taught about LGBT issues in schools? Yeah. I mean, it's an issue like none other. Well, apparently I am 51% cuck. You're thoroughly cucked. Please remain where you are until your free helicopter ride arrives. Um, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Do whatever you have to do in the comment section down below. I mean, if being a hardcore liberal is a cuck, then... Yeah, you got me. So, yeah. 
I've actually learned nothing about myself in this test, except for one thing. But uh, yeah, stay awesome, stay different. I'll see you in the next one later.